Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Would you like to expand your app's reach by adding support for multiple languages? In this video, I'm going to show you how to add language support to your applications. Let's get started. Open Xcode, then open your project. First of all, add a new string file to your project. This will be your localizable strings file. At this point, you need to go through all the files in your project and identify strings that the user will see in the application. These can include text, button labels, navigation titles, picker labels, and so on. The text you have identified will serve as keys for localization. In my case, the app's default language is English. I've already prepared the localization file for the default language, so let's copy and paste it to save time. In the localization file, the left-hand side of the equation represents the key, and the right-hand side contains the translated value in the target language. Every time SwiftUI encounters a text in your project, it will refer to the localization file of the target language and look for a matching key to display its corresponding value. Now let's go to the project settings and open the info tab. Look for the localizations section. Click the plus button to add another language to the project. Let's start with Spanish. Xcode will prompt you to select a reference language to create the localization for Spanish. English is pre-selected, so go ahead and click Finish. You'll notice that Xcode added a new localization file for Spanish. It also copied the reference language's localizable strings file into it, so you can start typing the translated values right away. As you might have guessed, I've already prepared the Spanish translations, so I'll just copy and paste them in. Let's go back to the localization section and add all the languages you want to support. Xcode will automatically create a localizable strings file for each language you add. Now all you have to do is translate your keys into the target languages. Since I've prepared the translations beforehand, I'll quickly copy and paste each one of them. I strongly recommend testing your app in a simulator or on a physical device before moving forward. Here is how my app looks in English. Now let's go ahead and change the device language. As you can see, it works instantly. Data and calendar objects used in your project automatically respect the localization settings. This includes elements like weekdays and month names. Just keep in mind that the first day of the week can also vary depending on the region. So, if your app relies on a calendar view or weekday logic, make sure to test it in different regions to ensure it behaves as expected. You don't need to make any changes to your SwiftUI files. All you need to do is identify the text you want to translate and prepare a localizable strings file for each language. Let's continue. The app is already available on the App Store, so I'll update the version and archive the project to distribute the new version. If you want to learn how to publish your app on the App Store for the first time or update an existing one, check out the videos linked below. Once the archive is ready, I'll validate it and then distribute the new version. We are done with the Xcode for now. Go ahead and open App Store Connect. Click on your app. In the top left corner, click the plus icon to open the form for a new version. First, I'll write the What's New section for the default language. When you've added the localization to your project, this language label will become a drop-down menu. Click on the drop-down to add the languages your app supports. App Store Connect will automatically copy the information from the form you filled out for the default language. You can update the screenshots, descriptions, keywords, what's new, and any other details you consider worth localizing. 
I strongly recommend customizing the description and keywords for every supported language to improve visibility. I'll quickly update the description, keywords and what's new section for all the languages I've localized in my app. Additionally, you can also customize your app's name and subtitle based on the region, just like we did with the other app information in the form. I'll leave them as they are for now, but keep in mind that you do have the option to change them if it helps better represent your app in different regions. Let's go ahead and add the build we archived. It will appear in all the localized forms. Click Save, then click Add for Review. App Store will prompt you with a summary of the changes you made. Click Continue. Finally, click Submit for Review and wait for the approval. That's it. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video to support us.